If you've been a Shopify seller for a while and you notice that it isn't really for you, switching to a WordPress website might be the solution. In this video, we will talk about why you will benefit from switching from Shopify to a WooCommerce store on WordPress, how to do it step by step, and comparing the two in terms of e-commerce possibilities, website design freedom, pricing, and much more. Let's go! First, why would you choose to switch from Shopify to WordPress? The first thing that many consider is pricing. For some small businesses, paying $29 per month for the Shopify subscription might be a lot. So when switching to a WordPress website, you're paying half of that and have many other things available. This is something you can get by getting the Elementor e-commerce hosting plan. For only $15 per month, you get a premium theme for WooCommerce, you get a free domain for the first year, you get the Elementor Pro Builder that allows you full creativity when designing your website, and so many others. Now, the second reason why you might choose to switch from Shopify to WordPress is the theme and design options. On Shopify, there are some themes that they offer for free, but most of the ones that really include a lot of design possibilities are paid themes, so you pay an extra fee for those. But by choosing the Elementor e-commerce hosting plan, you get the Shoptimizer theme included that allows you to sell your products like a pro on a WordPress website. And no matter the types of products you are selling, the Elementor Pro Builder allows you full creativity and flexibility when designing your site. And next, another reason might be flexibility. With WordPress, you can easily start a blog, keep track of posts, install different plugins and manage your entire website a lot easier for an affordable price. And the thing is you can design any page in any way that you like. With Elementor Canvas you can design a page from scratch, add menus wherever you want them to be, add different effects when things pop up on the screen and so much more. I'll show you more of that right now. Now if you've decided that you want to switch from Shopify to WooCommerce, the next thing you might want to do is export your products if you have any products on your Shopify store and import them into WooCommerce. To do that, first go ahead and purchase your Elementor e-commerce hosting plan, create your account and your website. You can connect your existing domain here, go to your website, domains, and you will need to point your domain to the Elementor name savers that you can see right here. Next, you go to your WordPress dashboard and you will find that the Shoptimizer theme is installed right here. You can import the demo easily. So go here, import demos, and then install the plugins that we need and that they recommend. And then what I do is I go back and I activate them all by checking activate plugins. After you import a demo, you can add a coming soon page so you can work on the site at your own pace without somebody from the outside seeing it. To do that, you can click here and add a coming soon page or you can choose to install a plugin such as Seed Pro to design a customized coming soon page. Next, we need to export your existing products from Shopify and import them into WooCommerce as we said. So you go to Shopify, you go to products, export, export all products in a simple CSV file. Then, when you go to WooCommerce, you need to make sure to set up the WooCommerce plugin and add your business information, payment methods, shipping methods, and more. And then to add your products that are exported from Shopify to WooCommerce, you can go to add new products. So you go to products, add new, import, and then upload the CSV file to import the products. You now need to check the products manually and make sure that the details that you had from Shopify in the CSV file are the same as for your WooCommerce products because because errors might happen. So you need to check the title, the description, and make sure that the photos are high quality. If they're not, add them manually. So for products that have variations, you might need to check the variations, make sure that the pricing is correct. And if you have lots of products, it might take you a little bit of time, but it's a one-time thing only. So whenever you want to add a new product, you just go to WooCommerce products and add new product. You can add different variations for it. And to create variations from a product in WooCommerce, first you need to add attributes. For example, you want to add multiple colors to a product. You go to attributes and create different colors. So the name of the attribute is color. You write color and then you separate them one by one. So for example, red, purple, pink. And then you can click used for variations. So check this box and then you go to variations and you generate them from all attributes. And then for each variation, you can choose a different price, a different photo and other details as well. So this is how you upload a product manually for WooCommerce. You'll need to also set a featured image for it. Gallery images, add a description and a short description, the price, a sale price if you like, and then publish it. But of course, also choose a category for it. So the categories are the 
collections that you had on Shopify previously. Okay, so now that your products are listed on your website, it is time to customize your website's theme. So we need to go to appearance, customize, and write a name for the site, a slogan, add your logo, the site icon, and customize the website colors and even the fonts. What I love about Elementor is that it is so easy to make your website your own because of all the design possibility. For example, if you don't like your theme's header or footer, you can easily build your own with the Elementor header and footer builder. So you go to Elementor, you go to theme builder template and create new. For example, you want to create a header, a footer or for a four page, whatever it is. Then you start adding elements. You can import a template and they have a bunch of them that you can use and you can customize that or you can create your own from scratch. If you're a beginner, I suggest using a template and then just playing around with it to find your design options and the ones that you prefer. But you can also start from scratch if you really want to learn and experiment. So that can mean you can add a multitude of menus, social menu, top menu, main menu, images, text, logos, and more. You can really make it your own within minutes. This is one thing that you can't really do with Shopify right now. You don't have this design freedom. So that is one reason why you would prefer having your shop on WooCommerce and with the Elementor e-commerce hosting rather than Shopify. Another cool thing that you can do with Elementor is you can add different page separators that are in different shapes. So if you want to create a unique homepage design, for example, you can add something like this. So you can go to add another section, make it a different color, and then you can easily add this separator right here and choose its shape. So it can be curly, it can be in zigzag, it can be anything you want. This is a fun little idea. Next, for elements, you can choose how they appear on the site as somebody scrolling. So you can go to advanced and you can choose how it shows up. So it can be a fade effect, it can appear on the page any way that you like. So this is an example of how that can look. Another really cool thing you can do is to customize your shop page or any product category pages that you like. You can design a banner for it and even design a separate header or different sections, different menus for the shop page and have it shown on that page only. For that to happen when you're creating a header or a footer, make sure to select on which pages that will be shown. So you need to set your shop page at Elementor full width instead of default. And then you can choose for it to appear on the entire site or on certain pages of the site. If you want any of your pages to have a fully Elementor design without showing a header or a footer, you will need to select the Elementor Canvas option. This will allow you full creativity when you're creating your design. And you can use this page to announce a special collection coming up, to gather giveaway entries, to talk about different offers you have. For example, if you're selling digital products, you can use such a page to promote a course that you're having, to enroll people in that course or a training program, and so many other things. It is so much fun to experiment with these and see all the design possibilities that you have. Another thing that you can do is customize your cart, your checkout, your wishlist pages, and even my account page for the client. So that can contain your color palette, different product recommendations, and more. On your homepage, you can add any section that you want at any point. All you have to do is click plus, add a new section, choose the section type, and you can add in your blog posts. You can add in your Instagram feed. You can add a newsletter pop-up or just a newsletter sign-up form that you can add by adding an HTML code and so many other things. And when you want to make that section be on the entire page, all you have to do is click right here and click full width and the section will go on the entire page. Another really cool effect that you can do is add a background image and have it scroll over like this. I saw this on multiple websites and I think it's really interesting to do. So how can you add such a section? For example, let's add it to the front of the home page. You add a new section, you make it full width, you go to background image, select an image for it, make sure to add the image so that it goes on the entire section. What you want to do is make it be attached, so make it stay in there, and then you add a spacer onto it. You make it as big as you like, and then when you scroll down, that photo also scrolls down within that section, and it creates this amazing effect. So as you can see from your shop page, your homepage, your unique product pages, and different headers and footers, the Elementor 
e-commerce hosting plan has it all and for a super affordable price. If you're just starting out your small business and you don't have the money to invest in Shopify and even if you do but you want more design options and more flexibility when it comes to your website and product then I suggest trying out the Elementor e-commerce hosting plan. So make sure to try it with the link below and let me know what you think of it. Make sure to watch this video next to get more education on web design or growing your small business. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!